Hello, welcome to my nightmare. In case you didn't read the title of the video, this is supposed to be a skid steer. In particular, a bobcat model with uh, tracks as opposed to a wheeled version. The model is from AN3DRC on umagine.com and if you want to build one of your own, use code JERPS20 at checkout and you'll save 20%. That's pretty cool. So it's an almost entirely 3D printed 1.8.5 scale Bobcat. There's still a few things to buy like bearings and some steel rods and um, linear actuators but the majority is 3d printed in a large scale which will look nice with most of my other rcs so i'm building mine alongside matthew from the skill builders guild and he's gonna make one too and maybe sometime this summer when we're finished we're gonna go out to smiggins folly and have some follies uh, maybe a series of challenges, or maybe make a new section or something, move some dirt around, or whatever. So that'll be fun. He's been begging me for years to collaborate on a video because his channel's just not taken off. And, you know, my channel is very successful, and I have a lot of awesome fans like you. So, throwing him a bone. Maybe you could get, like, an extra subscriber or two. So check out his videos. They're okay. He's getting a little better at it. Just give him time. Uh, I have a lot of support and uh, cleaning up to do. So we'll be back in a little bit. I forgot I had one of these deburr tools. I wonder if it works. Whoa! Kind of. Well, hello again. It's me. We're back. So this is a pretty beefy part. Uh -huh. I reckon. It's, um, for the tracks, maybe? Yes. So even the tracks are printable. Um, I got a spool of TPU to print those. This will be my first time printing in a flexible filament. Uh, I guess now's the time to learn. I'm kind of uh, just a point-and-shoot kind of guy when it comes to 3D printers. I don't need a hobby within my hobby, so this is kind of the first time, too, that I modified some of the print settings. In the instructions, There's it lists every part, you know, the layer height of your wall thickness, how to print it and all that. It's oriented just right. Put on your build plate and just print so that's about as far as I go with 3d printing so if you have any tips on printing TPU let me know I have a Prusa mark 3.5 I think um, yeah it did an all right job this is printed in PETG PETG Petting, whatever it's called. I don't know. What do people call it? So it should be a little more heat resistant than PLA, a little tougher. Track. For a track vehicle, it sure has a lot of wheels. So this is for the, the motor, I guess, connects to these pulleys. You gotta buy a metal GT2 um, pulley 
belt, all that. That's all on the way from various places. In the instructions, it links to everything you need. Very detailed. There's even build videos. I haven't watched them yet, but I'm sure they're terrific. Probably help me in a pinch. Um, yeah, this thing's going to be huge. It's gonna be big. That's like the base of it. Um, that's the wheel. Wee wee. Very cool. Look at all that. Yeah, so that is. That's about it. This is the introduction to this project. Check out, check out and see what Matt is doing. I'm going to treat this the same way that I do with bodies. I'm gonna sand it, prime it, fill it as necessary and make it look real good for a piece of construction equipment and the person who designed this, they have a bunch of files on you imagine. The, the name again is AN3DRC. I'll link that. Once again, use code JERPS20, save 20%. But anyway, they have a one 8.5 scale mini excavator too. So if I can figure out how to make this work, that'll be my next project. And then they got a little like little articulated dump truck thingy besides all that 3d printed garbage i have i got some various nuts and bolts and sizes that i don't usually have it's an opportunity to buy more hardware bearings more bearings Rods. Reproductive harm. What's this? Something. It takes two speed controls. And brushed 45 turn motors. Hmm. This is my first time using a linear actuator, and it has four of them. I got these on Amazon. The instructions had a link to AliExpress, but they didn't have the ones they said I needed so I'm gonna try these they're slightly different dimension they're off by like a millimeter or so hopefully I can make them work otherwise I don't know what to do but I should be able to make them work somehow this whole thing's printed you just modify it right I got a ton more parts to print I'm maybe a third done maybe not even I'm going to cut it short here. It's probably already too long of a video. So anyways, get the printer fired up again going because it's in the same room. So I hope you like this little bit of a different video from me and uh, you're interested in seeing how it goes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next installment. I don't know when. I don't even know what we're calling this project. Maybe we'll know by the time I post this. Okay, bye.